Yo, 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 guys. Yoshi's back today with another video. Speed boost tutorial. You guys have been asking for this video for a while now. Uh, simple, very effective move. I've been doing it for multiple FIFAs now. Should carry over to the next FIFA, I'd assume so. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. We have a few more dropping to close out FIFA 22 before we go crazy for 23. And uh, we're going to start this tutorial off with no face cam so you guys can see the controller. And then I'll show you guys a few spots where I really like to use this speed boost. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start this off by moving in the direction you want to go. Click your L1 or LB button down while moving the direction you want to accelerate in. Then we're going to pause the clip here. And there's going to be nothing pressed on the controller. We're going to let go of our L1 and LB button. And then right when you let go of it, we're going to push our RT or R2 button. This allows us to accelerate. So the important thing is L1 or LB, depending on your controller, completely let go of it while still moving on your left stick, and then accelerate with your R2 or RT button, depending on which controller you're using. So here's another example of it. Pay attention to when we click our LB, L1 button versus our sprint button. This is something that you just got to get used to the transition. The last clip was paused, so keep in mind the, the distance between clicking the buttons looked like a bigger gap, but realistically it happens very, very, very fast, almost simultaneously. So here's one more example of it. And this one I'm going to show you, you can actually hold your L1 or LB button down for a long period of time. You can do it short or long. So the first two, I kind of just held it down very briefly before boosting. But in this one, I'm going to hold it down for a little bit longer. And then you're going to notice as soon as we let go of that L1, we quickly push our sprint button so that way we're able to accelerate and get that big touch into the space. And so kind of just getting used to letting go of L1 and immediately clicking into your sprint is how you can really get used to this. So now I get into some in-game scenarios. As you can see on these first two clips, you're gonna see Cruyff's just accelerating down the line. It's really, really effective to use the speed boost down the line to create space. Usually your winger will be able to beat the outside back. Another position I like to use is in the top of the box with my strikers. You can just accelerate into it and then either quickly turn or just get a quick shot off. On this one, you're gonna see with Neymar, I use it like three or four times just all over the pitch just to keep speeding past the defender, speeding past the defender. And then, like I said, top of the box, can't catch up to him, goal. So I hope that tutorial helped you guys. I tried to keep it as short and simple as possible. Let me know if you guys have any questions, leave a comment, come to the Discord, come to the Twitch stream, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to help anybody. Let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. And as always, stay blessed.